The mighty dynasties of South India span over 2000 years. Its pride lay not only in its breadth of the empires, it was also the epitome of wealth, culture and sustenance. Water, the essence of life, has long steered the fate of the southern empires. The dynasties grappled with the whims of the monsoon, leaving a legacy in its ingenious design of cascading tank systems and tranquil ponds used for crops and community needs. The kings were famed strategists who envisioned a vast network of interconnected tanks like a flowing symphony. The key was the cascading design. Smaller tanks fed larger ones maximizing water use. Each drop carried the legacy of past generations, a testament to collective ingenuity. Through centuries, the torch was passed to the Vijayanagara Empire, which further improved the system with dams and aqueducts. But beyond kings, the true story lies in the collective spirit of the communities themselves. They were farmers, artisans and engineers. It was a sacred responsibility. Some offered land and resources, others blessings. More than mere reservoirs, the tanks pulsated with life. The tanks became hubs of bonhomie for the rural folks to mingle and for communal bonding. They were vibrant hubs where the rhythm was life and the tune was flowing water which over time became an inalienable part of their cultural ethos, each drop reminding generations of the importance of conservation. For all the centuries of hard work, the 1970s was a pivotal downturn for these ancient lifelines. The Green Revolution promised large-scale agriculture, but completely overlooked this traditional tank system. Community-based agriculture was replaced by modern machines. The once lively ecosystems degenerated, leaving them vulnerable. These tanks that provided 92% of the community needs dwindled to 5% in less than 30 years. Lively stories carried by the flowing water turned into cries of loss. A new awakening was essential to bring back prosperity. And change did happen. In 2020, a determined community took centre stage, ready to rewrite the tank's history. They roped in the government to collaborate on initiatives like Kuri Mara Matta in an attempt to breathe life back into parched lands. Recognising the crucial role these ancient water sources played, they reached out to Pradhan. It was clear that the success of this endeavour hinged on community involvement. Water has been worshipped like a god in our society. Our ancient Tamil literature, Tirukural, says, Visumbin tuli veeli nallal matrangi pasumbul dalekhan badarid. Meaning, if a drop of water fails to fall from the cloud, blade of grass will not grow. Challenges persist, but hope echoes. Pradhan meticulously organized villagers, ensuring their voices and priorities were heard in the planning process. Repair and reconstruction efforts were carefully planned, drawing upon local knowledge for sustainable solutions. Villagers dedicated to the projects contributed cash, labour and materials, endorsing their steadfast commitment. Pradhan's interventions were dynamic, tailored to the specific needs of each tank or pond. You know, these uh, tanks are uh, technical systems. Huh? It has its engineering features. It has bund, it has sluices, it has weirs, it has long stretches of uh, channels crossing miles and miles. So each one has its own specifications, its, its own design, its own engineering. Villa or the Dava, Haita, Yellow Tail, Villa Vande, Naria Purucia, the Mundace. Ipa Vande, the Randa Tiroti Mulla Vande, Pudimaratma and the Parage, Pradanga Tundurata Mola, the Karma Alapati, 
அது காலை படுத்தணும் அதனால இப்ப நெல் நல்ல தண்ணி சேமிச்சிருக்கோ கர வசதி இனிமேல் வந்து ரெண்டு போக நெல் எடுக்கலாம் வெள்ளம் வந்து வருங்கிற அபாயம் கிடையாது and many of these tanks have been lying in disuse for last 40 years 50 years no repair no anything has happened here so indusind bank is making that investment and pradhan is providing the technology and the community mobilization help so this year we have done 100 tanks next year also we plan to do 100 or more tanks so first of all at indusind bank we believe that good ecology is good economics also in the collectiveness so satvam means goodness we only looking at virutnagar right uh one and a half years back we thought we will work in a holistic rural development and we said instead of reinventing the wheel why don't we align with niti ayog aspirational district program adu ya ga enna annaiku adhe maari da innaiku adhu indha varam venai konjam paravalam 35 36 40 kulla vanchi indha varam poduva naangal vivadhayatham nalla senjom senjana 45 mudi koraadhu ya karu kadachanaala naanga andha kaasu eduthu கொஞ்சம் என் பொண்ணு பணத்தை கொஞ்சம் செலவழிச்சாலும் என் பையன் பா இது வெளிநாடு போயிருக்கிறான் அவனும் கொஞ்சம் கடையை வாங்கி தான் அவனுக்கு கட்டினேன் நான் பணம் கட்டினேன் அதுக்கும் கொஞ்சம் பணம் யூஸ் ஆச்சு இந்த தம்பி என் பையனை வந்து சிங்கப்பூர் அனுப்பியிருக்கிறேன் அதுக்கும் கொஞ்சம் யூஸ் ஆகுது As Pradhan facilitated the revival of water resources, it not only empowered communities but also nurtured biodiversity, fostering a harmonious relationship between humans and nature. Many birds began to frequent the tanks in their vicinity with the support of Bombay Natural History Society experts 92 different species of birds were found here these sustainable measures have given a huge boost to make agrarian practices more adaptive to climate vagaries while simultaneously contributing to disaster risk management by significantly reducing impact of flood or its occurrence Today the silent tanks resonate with renewed vitality as the water security strengthens and the economy blooms. It has also been responsible for a huge cultural rejuvenation and reclaiming a glorious past. <laughs>